Welcome back to Latin Nation. Now, born in Los Angeles and raised in MacArthur Park, Andrew Jacobs was always the performer, entertaining anyone and everyone around him. He was also in and out of foster homes, but then adopted by a French woman. And when he found his biological mom, he developed a closeness to both mothers. That kind of sensitivity in a young man can only fuel resounding expressiveness. And that expressiveness is what made Andrew the breakout star of the major box office hit, Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones. His thrilling performance gave audiences the jitters, and now he's ready to take on Hollywood. But first, he takes on Latin Nation. Right here, right now. Check this out. I'm Andrew Jacobs, and I play the role of Jesse in the new Paranormal Activity, The Marklins. Thank you so much. Today I'm here, I'm doing uh, my first meet and greet, and I'm happy to be a part of this and meet the fans, take pictures, signing autographs. Thank you so much. Thank you. The movie starts off with uh, my character and my best friend, uh, who's Jorge Diaz, he plays the role of Hector. The lady who got killed, she lives right under me. I had an idea. Let's go check downstairs. What is this? This is some black magic stuff. Hey. She's got pictures of you. How does she have pictures of you? Something happens to my character and I start becoming a little bit dark. I start shifting. And things just go down, uh, downhill from there. What's up? What's up, man? Hey! Get back, man! Hey! Get back, man! Hey, get back, man! Stop it! Stop! <laughs> Jesse, get up, dog. What's that, man? I saw the first Paranormal Activity movie uh, a couple years back, and I, like everyone else, I'm, I thought it was real. That was some creepy stuff. The ones that are marked, they become the permanent hosts. So what's gonna happen to him? He won't be Jesse anymore. Huh? Oh my God! <gasps> this film, The Marked Ones, is definitely a spin-off. And for people who never watch any other Paranormal Activity movie, it still stands off alone as its own movie. You could definitely watch it and understand and it might actually make you want to watch the rest of Paranormal films, just so you could be a little bit up to par on the story. Before this whole acting thing, I did breakdancing on Hollywood Boulevard with a group of my friends. I think that's one of the reasons also why I figured, you know, I could do this acting thing, because I'm performing on Hollywood Boulevard in front of all these tourists every single day. I figured, you know, if I could talk in front of all these people, because I'm like the talk man of the show, I was like, I might as well get into the whole acting thing. My dance crew is actually really supportive of me. They're actually here with me right now. That guy is the worst, man. He doesn't know how to dance or act. He has a lot of tattoos. He looks like a cholo. <laughs> Don't. That guy's a douchebag. He's always doing this. He's always. Always, 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 always. Horrible. That's my trademark, guys. Just because you have a trademark, too. Nah, what is it? Horrible. Big short. Oh. Horrible. I'm born into a Mexican-American family. I'm a Latino, and I was adopted by a French mother. When I was like 9, 10 years old, did a couple commercials here and there, but nothing serious. And I actually decided to get back into acting after I had my kid. And I'm actually really happy I went into it. This is literally my third audition and I booked this role, so it was all meant to be. I think the stars aligned really well. <laughs> you just off. No, I'm not gonna touch it. Yeah, blow it first and let it dry, and then, yeah. Thank you so much. Nobody thinks of me like, uh, oh, you're Hollywood now, because I'm still myself. You know, I'm still the same old guy that grew up, and I'm gonna continue being that way.